tutorial video how to measure the center edge angle of the hip joint with the app. You load one image of the patient's x-rays. Next you insert the age of the patient. The circular template appears on the screen in order to determine the points of interest. Your aim is to locate the first point at the right hip by locating by clicking the point option. The center of the femoral head is marked and is the first point of measurement. See one right by repeating the same task. You locate the center of the left hip. See two left. After that a and horizontal line appears. You are ready to mark first the right lateral acetabular border third point. C3 right dot the right CE angle are printed on the screen with the relevant categorization near the right hip. With the same manner at the left lateral acetabular border, C4 left and the results are printed at the screen. A 57 year old man presenting with pain on the left hip x-ray revealed arthritis C1 and C2 were identified in C3 right C4 left. Automatically CE angle is measured and the value is printed over the screen after being compared with the reference database according to the age of the patient. That right hip is normal but the left hip has revealed pincer type femoral estabular impingement which explains the premature arthritis left. The hip is categorized as normal, less than 25 or borderline dysplastic, 21-24 or dysplastic, greater than 20 or severe dysplastic, less than 5 or over coveraged hip, greater than 40, pincer type femoral estabular impingement, FAI due to acetabular reach over Zion, coxa profunda or acetabular protrusio. In children the values have been modified according to Severin values. Greek capital letter iota in cases where you have leg length inequality, unilateral luxation of femoral head or THR or obliquity you can choose another way of measure the CE angle. By highlighting the option EXT by pressing the option EXT you activate another method of marking the points. Instead of marking both femoral heads, C1, C2, you try to mark two points first right, K1 right and then left, K2 left through the ischial two porosities, terrier drops, or inferior border of the obturator foramina depending on which was more symmetric and accessible. A horizontal line is drawn, K1, K2 and appears on screen. Now you are ready to mark first the right lateral acetabular border, C3 right, by pressing the point option and then the left acetabular border, C4 left, by the same technique as described above. HEAP is not a simple goniometer, is an enhanced product which offers the ability to compare all the input data with medical reference database. It is a handy tool for an orthopedic surgeon in order to monitor the severity of dysplasia of the hip.